Hey, thanks for joining me at the Mission Base this afternoon. Uh, I titled this one, Come and Lay Your Burdens Down. I have a song that I want to share with you called Burdens by uh, Jamie Kimmett. But I want to go over some scriptures just as we are coming upon about a year since we've been wrestling with this COVID crisis and dealing with a lot of different things. I know many uh, hearts have been burdened through this last year. And so I just feel like the Lord is just asking, you know, I'm, I'm praying for just fresh winds of his spirit to blow upon us and to just encourage our hearts for all that he has for us in this coming year. So I have a couple of scriptures I want to share with you. And just know that I've been praying for those that are watching, just that the Lord would lift your burdens and give you eyes to see the vision that he has and a heart to understand, a heart full of wisdom to know what to do in this hour that you're going through. So in Psalm 55, verse 22, it says, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. And you are called the righteous because of the blood of Jesus. Again, Psalm 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. I just get this image of just, you know, when, when things are burdened down, it's like you take another thing on, and it's just weighing you down. And, and sometimes in life, it's hard to let go of those things and to just, you know, cast that burden onto the Lord. But he's encouraging us in the word to do that. And so I encourage you to try that out and cast it onto him, but don't run right back to it and grab it again. Allow him to, to take it and walk you through that process. In 1 Peter 5, verses 6 and 7, it says, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Again, 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. When you know that he cares for you, it just encourages your heart to know that he's taking care of things for you. He has a plan. He has a purpose. As it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you hope and a future, plans to prosper you and to be in health. In Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30, Jesus is crying out and he says, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and I am humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's a great promise from the Lord as he's crying out even now in Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. He's saying, come to me, come to me. Sometimes we get to thinking that we're self-sufficient, that we can handle it. Just, you know, another load on and we can deal with it. And, uh, you know, it's good to do your part, uh, your responsibility. But God, you know, Jesus is inviting you into the yoke with him. And he's promising that, you know, he is gentle and humble of heart, which means we can trust him, that he has our best at, at his heart. And that we can find rest for our souls. For his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So I'm going to do this song. Join you, join in if you want. I just pray that... This time would be a time where you can look to the Lord to cast your cares on him, to cast your burden upon him, knowing that he cares for you and he desires the best for you. And as you just come in and submit your life to him, it says he will raise you up in due time. So.
deepest sorrow weighs on your heart. When you pray for answers, the answers never come. For every tear that you cry, there's a promise you will make your burdens light. Come and lay your care on onto him for he cares for you not always easy but it is a process that he invites us into love you guys be praying for you enjoy your day